What's going on everybody? It's coming for the win here, Farmer Joe again. That's not blood, I swear. And today I'm gonna to be doing a review of a nineteen ninety two GMC Sahara Sierra, what the fuck ever. Uh twenty five hundred of course. Uh I actually like this truck on the game. And uh put away that you didn't see it. I'm broke farmer. It's a poor old farmer. And yeah, I'm going to be doing a review of this truck. It looks really nice. Like I said, I'm kind of in the process of taking all those stock Grand Theft Auto vehicles out and putting these in. But every time there's an update, you know, i got to delete everything. And shit, it's annoying. But this is another one by Hippie Punk Converted Over. Uh, I'll put, like I said, download link is in the description and everything else as usual. No, like I never include that. But I really like this vehicle. It has a lot of components. It's very detailed and it looks nice on the game. Uh, so we'll kind of start with the outside. Um, typical GMC, you know, 90s look. It looks really nice. Uh, nice dual tow hooks up front for when a Ford has to pull them out. Uh, what else do we got? The nice badge logo down there in the door. My great grandpa, he had a truck just like this. It was like red, but had different colors, like black trim. It was kind of like fancy, but yeah, it was a nice truck. I, I like pretty much the older anybody's truck. These modern day vehicles, you hit a pothole and you got totaled. But uh, it's an extended cab. I don't think it's four wheel drive, sadly. But it is very detailed, and whoever makes the handling, you should make it full drive anyways. Uh, what I really like is... I don't know what game this came off of either. Which is gonna... Okay. Which is... I'm gonna have some questions for what game it came off of and why. For one, you can see a spare tire. It looks like a full-size spare tire under there. This has the same all-terrain tread as the Ford. Go figure. Copy the Ford. Um, what I really like is this has the tow package, has the underneath, you know, the whole ordeal instead of just like the little ball that's on the bumper itself, has the whole tow package, and I ain't never seen that on a Grand Theft Auto vehicle, even though this is modified. It has some basic bugs, but nothing that bad, you know, I don't think it has as much as the Ford, but it, it don't really flip, but it drives over guardrails and fences like it ain't nothing. So I guess that compensates for not flipping like the Ford. But it's not four-wheel drive, and it's also not quick. Like I said, it's just a vehicle package. So if you wanted, you can change the name to damn ATV, and you'll have people driving these around, which would be pretty funny. Uh, you probably see a lot of them stuck, but what would you expect, Lucas? So, uh, we got a clogged tailpipe full of chrome. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I shouldn't even point that out. The wheels look nice, the truck overall looks nice, it's a stock color, this has a lot of components you can screw with, which I like. Uh, extended cab, like I said, very detailed. SLE Sierra, or Sahara. Some people pronounce it different, I watched two different videos and they said it different, I'm like, I, I think it's Sierra. I don't know why one dude pronounces it Sahara, or Sahara, some shit, I don't care. Anyway, this is nice uh, seats. It's kind of black outside, black inside. It's a very basic truck. Uh, I like it though, it, and all the lights work. Uh, typical original Chevy mirrors. Not much to them. They're basic. So let's take it for a drive, then I'll show you the inside and everything. Something I didn't do with the Ford. If you heard from the Ford video, or before you go there, is I don't think his hands touch the steering wheel either. That's just a vehicle thing. I don't know if we'll ever be able to fix that. And the speedometer and that don't work, and neither does it on here. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the inside's pretty, very detailed. Uh, you got your nice radio, Dobly systems. Someone in the passenger left their cup in there. Obviously, Lucas, because he leaves trash in other people's shit. Uh, you got your headlights, park lights over there. Your cruise control with your blinker, your shifter. Uh, what gear is it in right now? Can't tell. Anyways, let's go for a drive. These are, I don't really, see, I see these on the farm, but not as much. They're either single cabs that I usually see on the farm of these, and they're dented and rusted up anyways, so. Uh, like I said, my great grandpa had a truck like this kind of shit. Uh, let's act like we didn't do that. And it was a nice truck overall. It didn't screw it up, did it? Yeah. 
Fuckers. All right, here we go. Uh, as you can see, it's not as fast as it is in real life. Just like the Ford, they need handling mods. Like I said, fuck you, bitch. I don't know if uh, this thing is four-wheel drive. I mean, I'm sure they probably have four-wheel drive versions. So you see, does this shit or turning radius ain't worth a damn. Uh, but I'm sure they have four-wheel drive versions, so if anybody knows how to make handling for this in the Ford, you should make a four-wheel drive. Obviously fix, you know, you'd have to test them out yourself and do it. So these are also nice farm trucks. Extend the cab, you can throw shit in the back because nobody's going to ride back there. And you can also throw stuff in your bed. Uh, bed looks like it has spray and liner. It looks like it's cracked in the middle. Uh, whatever. This is, I'd say this kind of looks like it's couple years old maybe not straight off the factory line but not really really old like they made the Ford out to be uh, look at that these lights look nice as hell blinkers the normal lights the damn brights what I really like is uh, it has cab lights some people don't like that which is fine because you can turn them off it has uh, dice hanging from the window which is jank as hell but whatever. Uh, the cab lights work and they actually glow orange. That's really nice. It's something a lot of farmer country people like. So let's go over uh, the components and then I'll show you with the doors and everything open. It's a really nice truck. I wish they made the Ford look new because right now I just kind of like newer vehicles, how they look. So this is one of my favorites. Alright, let's go. Ah, la, 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 la. Where are the components at? No, it is not right here. I don't have any library. Nope. Alright. So, component one is just like the Ford, except with a chrome roll bar and the same two big boxes, fragile, those two cardboards. So, like I said, if you're working on a farm or something, you know, it could be combine, tractor parts, you know, you can roll plate or whatever the hell you want to be. Uh, what, what did I just do? Oh, God. I'm pushing buttons. Pushing buttons. I'm lost. Seriously, I'm fucking lost. Oh, there we go. Now that I fucked everything up. Alright. Another one which got me curious where did this come from? Uh, is a just a big box in the back. And it says, The Mystery of Life Johnny Cash Tour. Which I really like Johnny Cash. Um, if you don't know who Johnny Cash is, he's an original American singer. He makes a lot. He's made a shitload of songs, but he's made a lot of great ones, and he had a rough-ass life, and then he straightened it out, and then he died. Uh, so, yeah. Like, where does this thing come to play? And when you put this in here, the truck gets running boards. So, this come off of a game that had to do with Johnny Cash? The world may never know. That was a game. Alright, on to the next one. Like I said, you know, like the cab lights, you can turn them off by themselves. The lucky dice also disappear with it. Just like with the Ford and the lights up top, and that had an antenna. It's kind of a dual package. Sitting here just bashing my fucking dome off the steering wheel. <sighs> Is it Ricky? La, 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 la. Yeah, most of you won't get that. Only one person will get that. He's sitting all goofy, too. Anyways, you can turn cab lights and lucky dice off and on if you don't like them. I like them a lot, so I'm going to leave them on. Nope. And the next one is, do you not like the running boards? You can only turn them off and on by themselves, not with a Johnny Cash box or a couple other things. Running boards are cool if it's a city truck, but I'm always exploring, going off-road, stuff like that. So running boards, I don't prefer. I mean, they have their uses, but not when you're off-roading and you need ground clearance the most. But it has nice-looking running boards. Uh, and then back to that crap. Oh. It has the Ford stuff back here too. Full size. Is that even a Chevy tire? Yeah. Full size wheel, uh, fuel tank for diesel fuel, gasoline, whatever. Uh, like I said, copper wire, boxes, license plate for some reason. It might be barbed wire, not copper wire. Motor oil, looks like transmission fluid, toolbox, a drill. Oh, wait, what else? Oh, wow, what was that? I didn't notice that before. Oh shit. Yeah, hey, you turn the Johnny Cash box on and uh something appears up front with you. I'm gonna leave this on. 
Alright, I think that's it. Oh, oh, I gotta... Looks like Johnny Cash's guitar. Let's see doors and windows. We're gonna open them all. What I like is they took the time to make this one actually open up like normal. So you can see the mystery of life, Johnny Cash tour. Like, what game is this off of? Did they base this as his truck or what? Which I like that uh, chrome trim they got going too. It looks nice. Alright, I like Johnny Cash, but I don't know that much. We got a Ghostbuster sticker. Old school Mario. We got a couple things. I'm pretty sure it's a Burger King sticker. What the fuck? Oh, is that four wheel drive? Yep. So this is four wheel drive. I didn't notice that as I was looking at it right before I made this video and it was dark out. So, whoever does make the handling, you need to make it four wheel drive because it has a manual gearbox to turn four wheel drive off and on with as well. So, and the Johnny Cash. Bitch. And the Johnny Cash Tour. That's GMC right there. Box comes in your bed. And then you get this cool box inside, and then a nice looking guitar. Might be his, might not, whatever. Uh, the seat belt stuff's very detailed. Uh, yeah, I couldn't see that full drive earlier. Unless it's a component. Like, turn it off and on. Anyways, let's go take a look at this motor. Kind of looks like my friend's. Uh, you see, this one has an air box. The Ford didn't. That's something they left out. But this thing ain't nearly as detailed. I mean, it has kind of, eh. I mean, it looks fine, but the Ford is very, very detailed. And then, what the hell is this? We got a warning sticker, which probably reads real information. It's just too hard to see, sadly. It's like, I can barely just not read that. Just enough to piss me off. GMC truck. Yeah, I don't even know if that's in English. Alright, uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. Wow, new feature. Everybody got tired of banging their head off of it, working on it. Haha, <laughs> Lucas. Anyways, Lucas is my buddy, for those of you who don't know. He owns a truck, kind of like this. But, yeah. I like this more than the... Fo oh, I, I like this more than the Ford. Because it's modern day, you know, it ain't all rusted looking, you know. It just kind of looks like it just came off the factory line. Yeah. It comes with a lot of component features as well. Like I said, stuff that I like. Cab lights and shit, which I just broke somehow. Whatever. And a bunch of cool stuff like the Mystery of Life, Johnny Cash Tour. I'm going to see if this thing pulls real quick. Alright, cool. So, uh, it does hook and it spins them <laughs> when it pulls. Bitch. MC Chevy. What the fuck? What was that? Anyways, like I was saying, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see me do a review of the 1984 F 150 Ranger, there's a GMC right there. Then go to my videos and check it out, or just kind of look for it on the side. And if it ain't there, then go to my videos. That was nice, two wheels. Um. Uh, but yeah, I did a nice review of that. But this and that Ford and the GMC Boxville, they both need a handling package if anybody knows how to do that. Because this and the Ford are four-wheel drive, plus they need speed fixing and a couple other things that are pretty annoying. Uh, not last but least, my other review by Heavy Punk, which will be my last for now, is going to be the Chevy GMC Boxville. You can check my videos tab or off to the side of this video or Ford video or what the hell ever. So, uh, like I was saying, remember everything mining with you gaming. It's Kevin from the Wim. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out of here.